How's it going? Today I'm going to be discussing some stretches that all musicians, but especially guitar players, should be familiar with. So if we understand when we're playing the guitar, the main thing that we're doing is, this is called flexion. So we are using our hand flexors to close our grip, right? The opposite of that would be extension, so that would be opening our hand, right? So when we're constantly overusing our flexors, and this happens with a lot of people, they get carpal tunnel because they're typing on the computer all day. This isn't just guitar players, right? Uh, so when we overuse these muscles, the muscles in our forearm that actually control these flexors get incredibly tight. So it's incredibly important to stretch them or to use our extenders to kind of counteract that tightness, right? So the first thing that we can do is just a simple, you know, prayer pose, and that'll, if, you're, if your forearms are really tight, you might not even be able to do this, but I'm sure most of us can do this. And then at this point, maybe we can go up and stretch our hands over our head, like so, and really push out, feel that stretch that's going to be on the outside of your forearm, or on the inside of your forearm right there. And those are some basic stretches that we can do to get a little bit more in depth so you can see in this position I'm just gonna have my palm put it straight on the floor and I can stretch this back you're, you're trying to stretch these muscles out right here you're gonna feel the stretch right on the inside of here okay then at this point maybe I'll stretch my hand out and you'll feel it in your individual fingers going through your hand now a big part of the, these motions is not only stretching but drawing circulation. A big benefit of doing stretches is we're bringing new blood and circulation into these muscles and that's what's going to help heal. So if you're already injured, doing small stretches like this depending on your level of inflammation will definitely help the healing process. It might make it worse if you are too inflamed. So those are a couple basic stretches for our forearms and just really loosening up our, the tightness that develops from our flexors like this, right? Then we want to get into our individual fingers and really start stretching out our hands. The biggest muscle in our hand would be the thumb, and the strongest digit. And when we find the ball of the thumb right in the center there, that is definitely a point that we want to massage. I like using this point in my opposite thumb right there to just kind of dig it in and we can kind of massage our thumbs this way this is something that you can do while you're standing in line for the grocery store or really anywhere okay and that's gonna help draw blood into your hands All right. now the next thing that we can do is we can stretch our thumb back now you want to be really careful when you're doing this kind of stuff you don't want to twist your wrist you want to just keep your wrist in a pretty straight angle and then slowly just pull your thumb back and you're going to be feeling the stretch from in there okay and now the same thing can be done with each finger we're going to be holding our hand out straight don't be angling your wrist all over the place and slowly just pull your finger up okay now at the point that you start feeling it stretch instead of yanking it further just start wiggling the rest of your hand and that will naturally push a little bit more of a stretch into your hand. Now this is a great stretch for all musicians, but especially guitar players, string players, piano players. Okay. The same thing with the middle finger. And so on. The pinky is interesting. You won't necessarily feel the stretch as much if you do it this way. Sometimes you almost have to pull the pinky inward this way. But you can kind of mess around with that. As long as you go slow, you'll feel where the stretches are, are happening. Okay, the next stretch I like to do is I like to stretch in between my fingers this way. So essentially I'm putting my hand in this way and I'm spreading each finger out that way. So I'll just do something like that.
No. So those were some basic hand and wrist stretches that we can do really all the time. And the more that you do them, unless you're already incredibly injured and inflamed, it's just going to keep your hands nice and limber. It's going to keep circulation going through your hands and your muscles, and this is really important. Um, the next thing we want to talk about is we want to talk about some exercises that will actually help strengthen our muscles to prevent injury. And this is something that's really important um, because it's not all just about stretching, it's actually about strengthening as well. So when we're overusing our flexors, we're neglecting our extenders. And so essentially what we have to do is we have to counteract this action with this action, right? So if you can imagine any way that you can really exercise the muscles of your extenders, that's going to be a great way to do it. So if you can imagine uh, if you had some sort of rubber band that you could put on your fingers to stretch them out or something like that, or sometimes you can just put, you know, maybe a pillow or a piece of weight on the top of your hand and practice just pushing up on it. It's surprising how weak our uh, extenders can be when they're neglected. So really just any motion that's counteracting the constant motion of the flexion that we do when we're playing our instrument. Okay. Another really important thing for guitar players to consider is that sometimes it's our shoulders and our posture that will contribute to arms, our arms and our wrist problems. Okay, so I know myself personally, I'll sit for several hours and by the end of it I'm hunched over, my right shoulder is all over the place, and my back is terrible, and all of this contributes to problems because the stronger our core and our shoulders and our spine are, then the more blood flow is going through our back and our shoulders to, into our arms, into our wrists, and it, everything stays healthy and running. Right? So a great exercise for this would be putting our hands out, and now you're going to just put your hitchhiker thumb up, and this is called a reverse hitchhiker, so you're just going to point that thumb backwards and use your shoulder blades to kind of pull your arms back like that. So you want to focus on relaxing your shoulders and just pull your arms back like that. And if you have a weak back, which most of us do, and weak shoulders, this is actually going to not only be a stretch, but this is going to be an exercise. I'm definitely feeling it right now. When we build strength and add blood flow to our shoulders and our back and our arms, this is all connected and it really helps prevent any sort of injury or any sort of uh, problems that constant flexion and constant playing of our instruments occur. I can say honestly, I had a bout with tendonitis about a year ago and it was the most depressed I had really been in a long time, if not ever, because I wondered if I was ever going to get better. And um, that's when I took a lot of time and studied the causes of inflammation in our body, also understanding circulation and the muscle system as well as hydration and diet all contribute to this. So um, really if you are going through these issues it's really important to educate yourself on the causes of your pain and your problems and to do everything that you can naturally uh, to fix that and to remedy that to make sure your body